Hey, what's going on everybody? Got a PSA order back today, ultra modern, special, $14.99 a card. I think we got about 29 cards here, mostly baseball and a little wrestling. So let's get right into it. This is a super fun order. Having so much fun grading cards right now um, at these price points and these turnaround times. So, all right, first up, the uh, 2020 Topps Chrome WWE, uh, the Sasha Banks refractor here. This one has really nice uh, shine on it. Um, PSA 9, uh, pretty low pop card considering it's just a base refractor, but not a lot of people graded these. So I uh, sent this mostly in for the purpose of selling with her um, impending uh, debut uh, with AEW. Hopefully her cards get a little bit of a boost and I can sell that for a few dollars um, with a pretty low um, cost basis. So, all right, next up. Got an Otani card. Lots of Otani stuff in this order. Uh, this is the 2020 Tops UK edition, the Big Ben parallel. Um, sorry, I'm trying to deal with a dog here too. There we go. Okay. Um, yeah, Big Ben parallel. These. This is the best year of these. You got the the flag over here um, on the border. Uh, out of 99. Uh, very cool looking card. Good color match. PSA eight on this. I think I'm gonna sell this one as well, but um, yeah, let me see, number serial number to 99, Topps UK edition there for Otani as we get closer to the start of baseball season. Uh, but yeah, very, very cool card. Won't be mad if I uh, end up holding on to that one. All right, next up, another Otani. Uh, a lot of base cards in this order. Again, at that $15 price point, I just felt a lot of these made sense. Uh, most of these are just pack pulled cards and, and whatnot, but just the heritage from 2021. Always found this to be a pretty cool card. PSA 9, uh, I have this listed on eBay. Hopefully I can, you know, uh, sell this for a few dollars or whatever, but love heritage. It's my favorite set every year. I look forward to grading more of this type of stuff in the future if these sort of prices, uh, you know, remain intact and there's any sort of, any sort of market for those cards. It is to, to, be, to be determined. All right, next up. Uh, 2020 Topps Chrome WWE. This is the Sasha Banks base card here in a PSA 9. Nothing crazy. Uh, just, a, you know, another, another you know, low-cost card at a low-cost fee with uh, hopefully a catalyst coming up for this uh, for her in the near future. So 9 on the base. Um, 2021 Topps base Otani in a PSA 10. Sent three of these in, so I'm stoked on the 10. Uh, very cool card. I think this is one of my favorite images for Shohei uh, on a flagship design. Um, 2021, obviously, MVP season for Otani. Uh, two out of the last three. Just always been very, very partial to this card. Um, have a gold wave of this in an SGC slab, but yeah, stoked on the 10 there. Uh, oh, shit. 2020 uh, Topps Chrome WWE. Another Sasha, uh, this is the Refractor again. Again, really solid shine on these uh, for ultra modern cards, PSA 9. Um, I sent two of the Refractors in and one of the base and all three got nines. All right, next up, 2022 Topps Chrome uh, Platinum Anniversary. This is the Lindor in a gold wave, just absolutely beautiful card here. Uh, I am planning on selling this one, even though I do PC Lindor. I'm just not super crazy about this set. I, I thought I kind of liked it at first. I do like it, but um, not enough to hold all the cards. I will, will definitely hold back some of these, but I think this is one I can uh, let somebody pry away from me. So PSA 10 on the Lindor there out of 50. Very beautiful card. All right, next up, uh, 2020 Tops Now. These are great cards. This had a print run of 261, I believe. Sits at about five, population of five in a gem mint slab. Uh, I've graded three of those, I've sold one. Sent two, two in this order, both got 10. So great card here for Sasha. Again, just a lot of this stuff is trying to time the market with her return. Uh, I sent cards that I thought looked good, that were low, could be low pop, that could get tens, all that sort of a thing. So hopefully she come back, comes back, tears it up, and uh, hopefully some people are stoked on her cards and will buy them, we shall see. So that is that in a 10. Uh, another one here, I'll just show you real quick. Again, two copies, two tens. I think I will hold one of those. I think that's a pretty, pretty sweet looking card. So I wouldn't mind having one of those in the PC. Uh, sticking with uh, 
WWE, this is the 2021 base refractor. So stoked on a 10 here. This is only a pop two card, which is pretty crazy for a base refractor, but yeah, pop two on the pop two on the 10 from 2021. Great shine on these. I prefer the 2020, but um, I think this is a solid looking card. I have a listing drafted up for, for eBay and I probably will end up selling it, but I haven't quite, quite clicked um, the uh, go ahead and, uh, you know, go live on the, on the, on the item yet, just because I'm sort of tempted to hold on to this just because it is such a low pop card. But I mean, you know, anybody could just go buy one of those raw and grade it themselves, but we shall see. All right, next up, this is a cool thing here. The Otani MVP uh, puppy card. I sent four of these. Uh, this was a recent release on tops.com. I think the print run was, was around that like 35,000 mark. I sent four of these in. I bought, uh, I bought four, sent four in. They all got tens. So spoiler there for the rest of the video, but um, I'm definitely going to keep one of these for PC. This is a great card. I, you know, maybe it's, you know, sort of uh, gimmicky or whatever, but I just think it's cool. I love dogs. I've got three dogs. Uh, I love Shohei, obviously. MVP. This, just, this is just kind of a perfect card in my opinion. Uh, there is a crazy amount of these graded already in tens. I think the population's over 1,500, and with only a 35,000 print run, that's pretty wild. So um, I have one of these on eBay right now. I undercut all the other buy it now uh, prices, so mine should be the low bin as of right as of the recording of this video. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see how this card holds up. I don't know. It, I think it's I think it's a neat card. I'm glad I bought. I didn't buy it off the the website. I, I didn't even know it existed until I started to see them, you know, coming on eBay, which I should have known because this was just one of those images that was all over social media. Um, and whenever you see something like that, it's probably a good idea to go check the website just to see if there is, you know, a card being made or whatever, just because Tops is pretty on top of it with that sort of sort of stuff. So stoked on that one. I'll definitely hold one, probably sell two, and then maybe hold, maybe hold back an extra one just in case they do go up in value over time. Uh, next up, cool parallel here. 2020, the Independence Day for Mookie at a 76. Great year of these. Uh, love, not quite as good as 2019 or 2018, but 2020 was still solid. Um, yeah, just a good card here. PSA 8. Um, this one will definitely be uh, filed away in the Mookie PC, but stoked to get it in a slab. I think it looks great in the case. So very, very, very cool card there. All right, next up, uh, another 2021 Otani, just the base here again, PSA 9 on this one. So I uh, sent I sent two of these in, 110 and 119. So yeah, got this one listed on eBay. That will be for sale. Okay. Uh, another Chrome Platinum Anniversary here from 2022. Uh, this is the Satchel, the Rose Gold Mini Diamond. I thought this is a very sharp looking parallel. Very, very, very Cool looking car, nice texture and pattern. Uh, serial numbered out of 75, got the Gem Mint 10 here. This will be for sale on eBay. This is live right now. Um, but yeah, very, very cool card for Satchel. Uh, next up, Sapphire. Can't go wrong with a Sapphire Gold in the Gem Mint slab there. PSA 10 on Lindor. Great flagship image for Lindor. This is probably my favorite flagship image of him. Uh, 2023 again, just absolutely crushes with the set design. Look at that lower third with that Mets logo, the player image, the texture within the, uh, by the um, position notation on the right hand corner, that little star there even has a little bit of those two stars actually. Um, so yeah, all around a serial number right on top of where it says New York Mets there too. Just every 2023 tops, again, I keep saying this is just so solid. It's just excellent. And you know, these cards are, uh, I mean, I'm I'm not taking my eyes off this set for for a long time. There's there's so many cards I want to acquire. I don't want to rush into anything, and I I just feel a sense of of patience with it, just because I I got so many. I've got I got I think just having that um, the the super fractor for Mookie really just you know sati satiated me in in a lot of ways, uh, just to have one of the best possible cards from from the year. Um, but yeah, I, I've got my eye on these, and I'm I keep I'll definitely dabble. Uh, in this in this with this flagship design for for years to come so great card there for Lindor uh, let's stick with 2023 uh, speaking of Mookie gold wave I'm always always all about these um, absolute stunners man PSA 9 there for Mookie these are out of 50 obviously 
Um, I I know it's it's controversial, but I I'm I'm you know favorable to the waves. I know the uh, the true golds hold a little bit more value on the secondary market, but aesthetically speaking, I, I just sort of tend to gravitate towards these. Um, just absolutely beautiful cards. Um, just really tremendous. The texture, the design, the the shine. It's just, and I think they've gotten better over time too, as you'll see here. I'll show you the next card. This is the 2020 Gold Wave for Otani, and you can see this one pops pretty nice too. But it's it's still a little bit. Um, I don't know. I feel like where the true golds have gotten more and more dull. I feel like these have gotten more and more vibrant, which is which is interesting. Uh, so this is three years ago on the 2020. Obviously, we've got the PSA 8 here, but um, and now modern. You know this the set from this year. I don't know. That one's hitting a little bit better for me. It's got a little bit more color to it. It seems you know brighter, um, more rainbow effect. Uh, I don't know. It's just it's interesting. I don't know if it's just I don't know what happened there, but even yeah, it just seems just really just something that that I've really noticed lately. So so yeah, two gold waves there: Mookie Otani, 2023 and 2020 respectively. PSA 9, PSA 8, both those will be filed away in the PC. Uh, next up, Gilded 2023. How about this one here? Jackie in the 10. Gotta love that. PSA 10. This is at a pop like 5 or 6 already in the mini diamond. Uh, these are serial numbered out of 50. Serial number location is a little bit different on these on the lower right hand corner relative to the center on the flagship. But uh, again, that lower third, look at that Dodgers logo, that old school Brooklyn. Look, the player image, uh, the name, the second base, the Brooklyn Dodgers. That image is absolutely beautiful. This is an absolutely fantastic Jackie Robinson card. Uh, I've got another one of these at PSA in another order, so if I do get another 10, I can look to sell one of those, but I'll definitely keep a 10 if um, if the other one comes back a 9 or something like that. So, All right, uh, another gilded card here from Mookie, a fielding image. I absolutely love this. Typically, he's batting, but um, yeah, this is an absolutely just... Perfect, perfect baseball card, in my opinion. I uh, just absolutely love, love, love the image. This one just flows with the card so nicely. You got his back, um, I guess his back uh, right foot there, his leg extended into the serial number. That's cool. You got the sock, the left sock with the palm trees just showing right above where it says Los Angeles down there. That's a nice little touch that a lot of people wouldn't notice, but that really stands out to me. Um, you got the blue arms, the sleeves, the hat, just everything looks right here. This is borderline, like I said, this is borderline, a perfect baseball card. Uh, PSA 10, what number do we got there? Um, is that lucky number? No, that's 43, 43 out of 50. Um, just absolutely beautiful card. I just, I could talk about that one for a while, but that's, that's very, very cool in a 10. Um, all right, next up, we'll save that one for later. Uh, another gold wave here, uh, 2021 Topps Chrome. Again, the vibrancy, uh, these just absolutely jump out of the case. Uh, out of 50 here for Mookie, card number 100, 2021 Topps Chrome gold wave. That is PC for sure. Um, Otani, 2022, the gold wave. Again, oh Jesus, another just absolutely beautiful card. It looks like those waves almost just wrap around the image. Um, just absolutely stunning on these, man. These are just absolutely crazy cards. PSA 9 there for Shohei out of 50. Card number one in the set. Uh, 2022 Topps Chrome Mookie Gold Wave. This is one of my favorite flagship images uh, of him. I talked about this in the podcast the other, the other day. But um, yeah, again, these just... These just really do it. Just really, really great cards. This is ultra modern at its finest, in my opinion. These are just really, really solid. So PSA 9 there for Mookie. Uh, a few more base cards. I sent three of these. They all got 10s. The 2022 flagship in a 10. 2022 flagship in a 10. Now, remember when I told you on the, uh, the Otani, um, the puppy card, the Tops Now card has a pop of like 1,500 in a 10 already. This card actually is a population of only 261 in a 10. And, you know, there you can imagine how many of these exist. Um, you're probably looking at upwards over a million whatever cards. I have no idea. But um, 
you know, safe to say it's a lot more than the, uh, the puppy card. And it's just interesting how, you know, how few of those are slabbed in, in gem mint holders relative to, to these. It's about a ratio of over five to one. So, and then this, this card will sell for significantly more, but, um, but yeah, so just a little side note there. And then we got two more of those Otani puppy cars, but I won't bother with that. Uh, and then the last card I'll show, this is a pretty cool one here. Uh, lower grade, got the PSA 7, but this is the 101 uh, Mookie Betts. Um, Tops Holiday, the golden metallic. See there, uh, under the case, these those little like uh, snowflakes, they have like a gold like um, like raised texture to them, which is very cool. Obviously, you get the snowflake borders, the Christmas themes with the red and the green down there, and the um, whatever you want to call those those little leaves there um, uh, on the border, the candy cane sort of look. Just absolutely cool. I love Top Tops Holiday. I think it's a very very neat set. I know it's kind of a novelty or whatever, but obviously you get the green on the back, the one one up there by the uh, the card number above where it says Holiday. Um, saw this come up on eBay, couldn't resist the opportunity to get an, an, a Mookie 101 with the flagship image. So went ahead and picked this one up for a couple hundred dollars. Um, and I, you know, with a 101, obviously a numerical grade is going to matter, uh, significantly less. So not too bummed out about a seven. I, th I thought it might be an eight, but, um, no, no, no complaints. I think it's a fair grade. It's got a little bit of white on the corners and whatnot. So, so yeah, uh, stoked on this order though, man, I thought we did really well. Uh, a lot of cards to sell, a lot of cards for PC, and a lot of just um, a lot of really fair grades. So can't ask for much more than that. Uh, and with that being said, I hope you all will uh, have a good rest of the day, good rest of the week, and we will see you again soon. All right. Later, everybody.